everybody, it's Lauren Galley, your host of Free To Be You. Today we are out on the streets and I'm asking people about confidence. What makes people confident and why are some people confident and others aren't? We're going to get all the answers today, so come with me. How would you define self-confidence? Self-confidence is the ability to just be yourself around anybody and not care what people think of you and just having the ability to be strong. What does self-confidence really mean to you? Uh, being able to be yourself without worrying about anything. And how do you do that? Like how do you wake up in the morning and like not care what other people think? Oh, to me it's just easy. <laughs> No one else can say anything to change that. See, that's awesome though. I wish more girls were like that. Hey everybody, I'm here with Maria. We're gonna be asking you some questions about confidence. This is gonna be the Spanish version. So Maria, do you feel like girls are less confident than guys? Si. Why do you think that is? Porque entre las niñas hay mucho más presión social, me parece, y este son mucho más mala onda entre ellas. So when you wake up in the morning, do you feel like energized about life and ready to go? Yes, I try to live life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I believe that when bad things happen, good things come afterwards. And there's always something good and worth living for. That interview was awesome. I find it so funny how as teenagers, we never want to listen to our parents because they, we think that they don't know anything, but sometimes they really do give the best advice, and she was awesome. Free to love. And how do you decide if someone really appreciates you for who you are? Like, how do you pick good friends who are going to bring up your confidence? Well, I know my friends are just amazing, and they, we've always been able to see ourselves around each other, and we just, if, if you know you can go out and tell your best friend anything and you can go out and have a good time with them and you know then you're surrounding yourself with amazing people. I think it's about time we get a guy's opinion on this subject, so I'm gonna go try and find things. Hey guys, I'm here with these awesome guys today in Market Street and I'm gonna ask them some questions about confidence. Now do you guys feel like girls are less confident than guys? Start with you. Uh, I think so because usually like the girls, like all their friends are like kind of talking about them behind their backs. So right. That doesn't really happen to guys. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, and also too, girls care a lot about how they look and guys really don't care. You don't care how you look at all? Uh, no, not much. About <laughs> five minutes a day, you think about it. <laughs> kind of jealous, kind of jealous. And uh, do you feel like you're a confident person? Yeah, I guess so. And how do you stay confident? Like, um, I just say okay. If I do something, okay. Um, I'm in, I'm an individual. People don't really care what I do, so just have fun. And if you need to do something crazy, just do it. People think it's funny. How would you define self-confidence? Um, I think really knowing like who you are mm -hmm. and your own characteristics and what your strong suits and weaknesses are. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Would you agree? Do you have a different definition? No, sounds sounds about right. Hey, knowing yourself is pretty important to self-confidence. If you don't know yourself, and you're not gonna know where to start, where to go. That's just definitely true. Honest. Exactly, exactly. And do you think there's a difference between confidence and arrogance at all? I think to a certain point, confidence can turn into arrogance. Definitely. So there are a lot of people who are pretty confident about themselves themselves and it just turns into it. You are free to be you, so believe it. Free to love. And would you consider yourself a pretty confident person? You seem like it. I am a pretty confident person. I, I don't like to let how what other people think of me affect how I live my life and I mean I definitely like to just be myself no matter what. What does confidence mean to you? Mm, yeah, it kind of means everything but it makes me be calm when I'm being bored and mm -hmm. I just feel safe. And what could you be going through that would make you not feel so excited or energized? Or <laughs> um, relationships, friendships, mm -hmm. schoolwork, sports, anything like that. So that's the type of stuff that might bring your confidence down a little bit? Yeah, definitely. What advice would you give to girls that want to be as confident as you? Uh, be yourself, don't let anything get to you, and just live on. All right, awesome, I love it. Thank you so much, Erin. And what words have people said that maybe hurt your confidence? Mm, like, I'm stupid, or 
the dance, it's like, really hurts my feelings sometimes. Mm-hmm. But your confidence makes that okay, right? You feel good about yourself? Yeah, a little bit. All right, that's awesome. Do you have anything else you want to say about confidence? Maybe to the people watching, like, some tips on how you stay confident? One tip is, like, whenever they say names, like, Brad Nancy, mm -hmm. just stay calm and say, like, if they tell you you're stupid, just say, I'm not stupid. And do you consider yourself, like, overall a pretty confident person? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And how do you stay so confident? Um, I just have a really good support team and I have really, really great friends that are always there telling me like how wonderful of a person I am. They're always there and they love me and I have a really great family, so. Why do you think that so many girls are so worried about what everyone else thinks? I definitely think like the media is playing a big role in it and like magazines, you're seeing how you're supposed to look and I don't think you should really care. You should just want to be who you are inside and surround yourself with people who appreciate you for you. And what would you tell girls who maybe don't have that support system for advice on staying confident? Just know that every person is unique and special in their own way and don't try to be somebody else. Be confident with who you are and the talents and stuff that you've been given and use that to the best of your ability every day. Well, that's a wrap on this episode of Free to Be You with Lauren. I hope that these inspiring and amazing people that I met really inspired you to have more confidence in your everyday life. So until next time, don't forget to be you because there's no one else like it. Be free.